What is up, Prezel family? I'm Brandon here at Prezel Guitars, and we're going to be doing another video for you. So, I am actually going to be setting up this wonderful, beautiful Les Paul Studio. I've already put strings on off camera just because that was a painstaking process. Yeah, not painstaking, but that was a process. I lemon all the fretboard on this beauty, so. I've kind of got her rough set up. So she's not bad, rough set up. So. Mm. Roughly she's about where she needs to be. So with small minor adjustments. So what I'm gonna do here or right now is go through and check some things on it. Well, right in front of me, what I was looking for. So next thing I'm going to do is check the truss rod. So I can slide down, which I already have, but I just want to check the relief. I do this in the player position. So this rod could be tightened just a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the old truss rod That means it's got too much backbone. Not too much, but it just needs to add a slightly, slightly, slightly bit more relief than there is in there. So I'll do this righty tighty, lefty loosey. If this don't sign off on me, if I actually get it down in there. So I'm just a quarter of a turn. Then I'll go back through, 
put my capo on the first fret. Then I'll come back. I'm almost there where I need to be. Almost. Probably just a hair away. Another little quarter of a turn. Just a little bit more of another quarter of a turn. Don't want to over tighten it, but we want to have a nice. And I believe just a little bit loose. Right there is where we want to be. So, just a teeny bit. Get that. So now that that's all taken care of, the next thing I'm going to want to do is the knot height. So the I got to get the knot height tuned in. So I'm trying to get it to a uniform thickness or a uniform height, not height, but special place. I've got a feeler gauge that will tell me exactly when I need to stop. Just a wee bit more off the bone. I mean, it was pretty close. When I got this guitar in, the when I when I started on this guitar this morning, when I got it in, the same thing when I started working on it this morning, the action was incredibly awful. And some of these are already good. So some of these slots are already where they need to be. Because I don't check it off camera. So we're going to pause there. So I 
pause. Sorry, I had to switch switch out camera things. So. Barely a little bit more. Some material for nuts cut easier than other, like bone. So, I'm happy with where that is. That's, you know, ever so slightly. You can almost look at it and tell. Some of these are already down there to where it needs to be. So like. Some of these are already where they need to be. Just these top couples were not. So yeah. So now the setup's all tuned in and dialed in on this thing. So I'm gonna put the trust rod cover back. where it needs to be. Another one around here somewhere. I don't drop it. One of the worst things in a shop is, uh, especially in, in, in this field here, is if you drop a screw somewhere Especially if it's like a one-off tiny screw that you gotta have. Now comes the fun part. So... I'm gonna deal with the intonation off camera. Then I'll be back on camera when the intonation part is done. All right, what is up, Frizzell family? So, off camera, I did a few fine tweaks. I got the, uh, I've got the uh, intonation set. This guitar is done. So, this guitar plays great, sounds great, and uh, I'm excited for you to hear this guitar with me. So, cleaned up, the fretboard was, you know, which is dry, not as dry as yesterday. So yesterday's video, I just want to tell you something. So I mean, I old pretty, pretty good, pretty, pretty heavy on that uh, on that special yesterday, Les Paul special custom shop. And uh, w when I did that, 
I mean, it wasn't a matter of a couple seconds. I turned around, it was already dry again. That's how dry the wood was. So I had to lemon oil it twice. So, you know, I'm gonna have to say, for those of you that watch the Fred job, yes, that's drier than Jonathan's Pono. corniest thing I'll say but looks like we have a uh, we have a winner here and I think uh, Mr. Colby's gonna be mighty 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 happy especially since he took his guitars to get fixed and nothing got done with them so he's gonna be mighty happy so thank you great what's up Frizzell family so this next part is a special treat for you so he came and picked up the guild uh, there is more trouble in Guild Town. That will be for a later video on another guild because this guy's got a lot of guilds and I've kind of grown attached to guilds. So, with that being said, excuse me, there's going to be a video of him right next of him playing that beautiful, beautiful guild and whatnot. And he is extremely happy. So, it sounds great and whatnot and I'm very impressed with the ending result of that so therefore check out that special treat and remember to like subscribe share that ah, share all the above thank you